Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome to the Irish Open 2019 hosted here at La Hinch, a course designed by the, the RCR specialist Cleve aka Craig Lavasseur. So really looking forward to this one round event, um, we are just going to be playing against the AI, as always on a very hard difficulty. We do have the lie grid turned off, the aiming circle turned off and the wind speeds um, turned off as well. So as you can see, fairways are soft, greens are firm. Everything else is left to default. We are playing on the back tees, which are the blue tees and they are the longest. But I have been told that this is an exceptional course. And like I say, I'm really looking forward to playing this. Look at this, just straight away, you can see that it's a Lynx course. Looks absolutely stunning. I will be loosely following the, the Irish Open over the next four days. The whole one is a par four, playing 382 yards. Stroke index 12. Conditions for the Irish Open are meant to be very, very mild. The wind conditions are meant to be low to moderate, which looks like we do have here today, but it's a decent opening tee shot. Looks like I may have pulled that slightly to the left. It's something that's creeping into my game at the moment, the last two, three rounds. And with the, the swing shot, the shot feedback turned off, it's quite hard to correct because I don't know if I'm putting fast or pulling it. But a little pitch shot here. Certainly want to be left of the flagstick here and just let it run up towards the pin. Looks like we may achieve that on the firm greens and hopefully that's going to set up a 6-7 to seven foot putt for an open and birdie. It's an 8 footer. Green speeds are 162. Quite a random speed that one, but we do drop that in the side door for an opening birdie. But this certainly looks like a fantastic course here, guys. Really going to enjoy my time out here. I can tell that straight away. Not a great field for the for the Irish Open. To be fair, God, Rory's not there. But hole two is a par five, playing 538 yards, still index 16. Wind's picked up, probably to 9, 10 mile per hour winds here. That looked like, or felt like a clean uh, swing. And with the wind, we're going to find ourselves on the right hand side of the fairway. But I do hope I am pronouncing this properly. But La Hinge Golf Club. Certainly looks majestic. We're really on the second hole. So five iron into this green. Just looking to take this up the left-hand side. This slope's really going to move our ball left, just like that. Try to find the left-hand side of this green. I think we've just found too much of the left-hand side, though. That might actually trickle out. And that has actually worked out really, really well. And we should have a putt for eagle here. 10 footer, this one is going to move to the right, oh and we drill that right into the heart of the cup and we do pick up an eagle and move to 3 under through the first two holes, let's have a look at the leaderboard, Morgan, Hunter, Brooks, Kopka, Woodland, a lot of Americans up there so far, where is our Irish contingent, really hope we get some Irish players up here. Hole number three, par four, playing 444 yards, stroke index six. Probably going to have to, to come down to the two wood here. Just going to allow the wind to take us round into the centre of that fairway. Hitting the ball cleaner today, it feels. But my Irish Open long shot, guys, I have posted that on Twitter as well. My tip is going to be um, the Dane, Forbin Olsen. He was tied sixth at Bally Liffin and then tied 12th at Canusti during a productive Lynx leg of his season last summer. And coming off a top 10 finish at the BMW International, he certainly can be in the mix for an each way finish at La Hinch. So look out for him. I really expect him to do well. Also look out for, for his fellow Scott. And uh, from my neck of the woods, Russell Knox. He is the holding um, champion, current champion at this event. He is such a straight shooter. And I expect great things for him as well. So two tips there, but I am favouring um, Forborn Olsen. I think he's coming in at 33 to 1. I've put a uh, £2 each way on him. So let's see if he can get an each way finish and earn 
Earn some uh, bucks for us, guys. But this is a nasty putt here for the birdie. Just touching that, and hopefully it should start to turn. This looks good. Oh, just didn't turn that last few feet. But it looks like the greens are going to be fairly challenging here around this course. But Jimmy Walker, the American, Brooks Kopka, Gary Woodland's all up there. This course, actually, I mean, it sounds silly. I mean, this could be Ireland's answer, pardon me, to St. Andrews. It certainly feels very, very similar to it. But this is a short pie of five here in hole number four. Should be reaching this comfortably in two. Looks like it's like a valley fairway here. It should kick and hold on to that fairway for me just like that. But this is a course that I know very little of. Clearly a, a Lynx course. And it is in the village of La Hinch on the northwest coast of County Clare in Northern Munster, Ireland. So 8 iron, we're going to be looking to fire into this green here. Allow the wind to take us round. Use the contours of that green to bring it back towards the flag stick. Green should break left. I think we've not got enough club here though. Even on the firm greens. But this should start to turn towards the pin. Just didn't have enough club there. This course was established in 1892. Which is 127 years ago. Obviously it's a Lynx course. So monster eagle putt here from 35 feet out. It's going to move both ways, just favouring the right edge here. Well, I say the right edge. This should start to turn back. Has it got the weight? I tell you what, what a putt this is. Oh my goodness, we almost drop another eagle. And that is going to set us up for a simple tap in birdie. It is going to be the host, obviously, for the Irish Open over the weekend. And it has previously hosted the Jack Hughes league lives trophy in 2003 and it annually hosts the south of ireland championship this was designed by old tom morris alistair mckenzie and martin howtry so hole number five par three it looks like we're going to be playing into blind green here huge mound there wow look at that just going to try and use this bank in the contours of the green try and kick off the bank just going to de-loft this 9-iron and we will apply, apply some fade to this just to counteract the wind. Try to land this right in the flagstick. I would say that's a 10 to 11, maybe 12 mile per hour wind we've now got coming in here. Just looking at this to kick right and then use the contours of the green. It should come back here. No, we're just a touch too long. We are going to have a putt for, for birdie, probably from about 15 feet. That is actually working its way back there. But really impressed with this course. Like I say, the the master of RCR's cleave. Looks like he's done it again. And we're only five holes into a round. An 18 footer down five inches. Just want to touch this and let the, the slope and the break do the work. That's not going to turn enough, is it? No, we're going to miss that on the left edge. But hopefully we can convert this three footer for par. Four footer. And we are going to remain at four under through five holes. What a start we've made to this one round event here in the Irish Open. Jimmy Walker still leading the way. Hole number six, par four, playing 415 yards, stroke index four. What a majestic looking course. I just love Lynx golf. You never know what you're going to get. It's so unpredictable. So that wind should move us around. Two iron. Should have enough fairway to, to contend with here. And it looks like we're going to... Oh, I certainly pulled that left. I think we're going to kick hard left here into the into the rough. We are in the light rough, it looks like. We've still got a lot of work to do here in hole number six. So just going to try and fire this eight iron at it. Use the wind, the slope, and the contours of the green to get this ball running up towards the flag stick. I think I've pulled that left again. Yeah. It's two consecutive swings here. Dirty. At least I do know what I'm doing. But honestly, with the shot feedback turned off, the, the aim and circle off, and the lie 
the fairway lie, the ball lie turned off, it, it really makes a real challenge. I'm probably not good enough to play this course with a green grid turned off, but we do have a chip shot from 12 yards out here. This should start to turn. This could drop. Wow. Very unlucky there. I've actually been practicing my chipping, guys, coming into this round, so... Um, happy with that outcome. We are going to pick up a solid par there. So, Rory McIlroy, why he bursts into second place. Gary Woodland, Nick Faldo, the golfing legend. Just a, It's really disappointing uh, McIlroy's not turned up to the Irish Open. Um, you would think a man of his stature in Ireland would be back in anything that they do. And I find that disappointing that he's not in the mix for the tournament. I would have strongly fancied him. Great tee shot there. And that is going to set up a wedge into the short par 4 7th, which is playing 412 yards. Wind's really going to hold us up. And it's going to move us round. Just lofting us up a touch. Looks like a clean strike. Do we have enough club though? Oh, the wind's not moving me round. That wind is not moving me round. Yardage looked like it was going to be bang on. And it is going to be another chip shot from off the green. That wind just didn't move me to the left like I expected. But I did. Ex I, I thought I was on a more severe slope to the left there as well. So a chip shot from 11 yards out, up 30 feet. This should just die a death up the top part. And it's another good aggressive chip shot. Maybe ran on a little bit more than I would have liked. Probably looking at a 7 foot putt here. 6 footer. Nothing much in this one. But if you've not seen the first two episodes of my Meet the Designer um, series, guys, please go and check them out. Um, fantastic insight into talented designers and what they try to achieve with their courses. And it's a series that's going to be the, the focal point on the channel for the foreseeable future. So hole number eight is a par three, 164 yards, slightly uphill. Wind's going to bring us round. Just going to deal off this eight iron. Allow the wind to take us round. Looks like it's a really tough green to hold here. Probably a 9 mile, 10 mile per hour wind that's going to take us round. Oh, I think we're going to come up short, are we? Oh no, this could be bang on. I tell you what, what a golf shot that is, ladies and gentlemen. And if you haven't already done so, please spam that like button. What a golf shot that was there. And that set us up with a birdie opportunity from five feet out. It's going to have a little bit of nasty movement, this one, though, to, to the right from the left. But we do read it well, just if I played that enemy for any firmer, that wasn't dropping. We do pick up another birdie, and we do pick up Cole Leader at five under. So, hole number nine, par four, playing 405 yards, stroke index two. Probably a 7 to 8 mile per hour wind behind us here. It's going to help us out. This should be nothing more than a pitch shot, I would imagine, off a good tee shot here. And we've absolutely boomed that down the fairway. That is going to carry for donkeys on these firm links fairways. Could even be a flop shot. It is. Wow, what a monster drive that was. And it set up a flop shot. It's going to come down to the 30 yards here. Lie the wind is uphill as well so we can be fairly aggressive with this one i think the slope's going to take us a wee bit to the left it has done oh wow i've overshot that is it going to bite how on earth is the flop shot went as far as that i must have put a fast on that one and that is going to give us a 17 foot putt for birdie nasty downhill putt here breaking from the left to right certainly don't want to play this too firm these greens are brutal at times here with their breaks and their downhill putts. That should really start to turn now. That should really swing hard right. Have we played it well? Oh, just burned past the left edge. And we are going to pick up a par here and remain at five under. So a solid front nine. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. I am co-leader with Patrick Cantley at the moment. We do move on to hole number 10, which is playing stroke index one, hardest hole in the course, 439 yards. Very, very tight fairway here. Looks like we should get a little kick to the left off the fairway, though. 
I feel like I've swung that well. I fully expect this to kick left off this mound. It's actually kicked right. But we have managed to hold the fairway. But honestly, this is a majestic course here. I don't think the Irish Open is a big enough event for me to do a, a two-round or a four-round event on the, the channel. But we will do a one-round event. And this one is for all my Irish subscribers and just golfing fans in general because I know a lot of you will be, this is coming up short, will be following this event. Like I say, I'll be following it when I can. I won't be glued to it, but I will be following it. And I will be following my bet, the Dane Olsen, to see what he can do. So, birdie opportunity here from 30 feet out, four inches uphill. Once again, severe break to the right. At least it's uphill and we can't attack this though. Come on, turn. Come on, turn. I think I've underhit it. Just going to slide past the right. Weight was actually good. And that is going to be a tap in par once again on the hardest hole in the course. But I really like the, the way the galleries are situated here. We have lost the lead. Justin Rose and Justin Thomas have shot by us. Harden, Shufle. KH Lee as well. Now on the leaderboard. Fantastic leaderboard there. Just a pity some of these guys are not featuring in the Irish Open. Where is our Irish contingent though? Let's see if Lowry or McElroy can, can make a, a claim here. Hole number 11, par 3. I think this club... Let's see the wind. This club, I'm just going to deal off this a touch. Fully expect that wind to hold me up. Let's see if the wind's going to take us round. Let's see if we can fire this towards the pin. Get it running up toward. I think I've pulled that left. And with the, the wind there and the height we've got, that, that is going to go hard left and we're going to miss the green there. So it looks like we could have a nasty chip shot here. From 14 yards out. Not much movement in this one. It is going to turn right. Should have enough club to get there with a lob wedge. On these firm greens, should have enough run out here. Looks like we've played it clean. Is that in? Is that in? Oh, it's just going to come up short. So there you see, you can see the benefit of practicing all your shots, guys. Like I say, I've not been happy with my chip in the last three, four rounds. So I probably spent about 45 minutes in the driving range just playing chip shots. Calculating the yardage. The run out of balls. And we do progress to hole number 12, which is a par 5. Played 571 yards, still connect 17. Beautiful. Sandy beach to our left hand side and this is just a majestic course here looks like a solid tee shot look at that for an aerial view right on the beach here and that is a fantastic tee shot right down the center of the fairway but I am absolutely in love with this course here it's certainly a course that you guys want to go out and play I'm just looking to come over to the right hand side that is bunker wind should certainly Part of me move us enough. Depends on our kick. There's the wind starting to move us now. Uh, the wind's moving us too much. We're going to catch this false front, I do believe. Don't have enough club there. Should have a flop shot, though. Just going to fully loft this up because the last one went absolute flying past. Don't want to go as far past as the last one. Really want to set up birdie here. That looks like it should sit down and bite quicker. Get a bit of backspin there and we should be looking about a 7 foot putt for birdie. 7 foot putt for birdie, bang on. Very little movement in this one, just going to play it firm. And we do drop that into the centre of the cup. And let's check out the leaderboard now. We are back to co-leader with Justin Rose, Justin Thomas, KH Lee. Shane Lowry, yes! The Irishman has made an appearance on the leaderboard. Absolutely delighted with that. He will be one of the strong favourites and I'm sure... He has um, got the home support cheering him on. Hole 13. This looks like it's a drivable par 4. Just looking for the a favourable bounce here on the green to hold us up. I fully expect us to run long though on these firm greens, but you never know. It's a nice swing. Wind's taking us round. Ah, we're going to be long. Wow, we're way long. Almost right into the gallery there. And this could be a nasty chip shot here. 12 yards, down 4 feet. 
I'm just going to use the hill and the slope and the green, which looks like it's going to break us to the right, fully lofting this up and just let the hill and the green do the work to get us down towards the pin. Let this trickle down. I'll tell you what, this is a chance. Oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen, what a chip shot that is. And there we go. That is the benefits of practicing these shots. We do pick up another eagle there. And we now have a two-shot lead at the top of the leaderboard. Eight under par here at La Hinch. Hole number 14, par four. Playing 461 yards stroke index seven. What a shot that was. That was very Seve Ballesteros-like. Or Phil Mickelson in and around the greens. Starting to swing well now. I know I'm not pulling things left. This is going to kick hard left. I expected the wind to, to move me more in the air there, which it didn't. And we are going to have an approach shot from the left-hand side of the fairway. Just avoiding the light rough there. Pitching weight should be bang on. Just lofting this up a touch. Going to let that wind hold it up in the air. Try and fire this right at the flag. These firm greens, hopefully it lands short and sits down fairly quickly. Sit, sit. Did bite there. Greens are fairly receptive for being firm. But once again, it's a brutal putt from nine feet. Slightly downhill. Don't want to play this too firm. Just let the... The green do the work for me. Is that going to turn enough? Is it going to turn enough? What a putt that is. We are really putting well on some of these treacherous greens here. Very, very tough reads. We've got a three-shot lead over Justin Thomas. KH Lee, Lyrie up there. He's now in the clubhouse at five under. And it looks like we should be winning this event. Unless we have a, a tin cup moment. Hole 15, par four, playing 467 yards. It's another good swing. Fairway should take us to the right here by the looks of things. It has done. And we threaded the eye of the needle there. Find that little opening on the fairway. Well, it looks like we're going to have an uphill approach shot into this green. So just deal off in the seven iron. Try to use the contours off the green. What will land this to the left. And let that green... And wind take us back round to the right. Wind's not moving me. Wind's not moving me. So I'm not going to find the landing area I, I wanted to. But we should hold the green. I wanted that to land another five, six, seven feet to the right. Past that slope there, which we failed to land. So we've got a monster uphill putt from 31 feet out. This is just a lag putt. It is moving both ways. Just going to favour the left. No, it's just going to turn back towards the left, unfortunately, there. Didn't read that one well. Weight was good, and we are going to drop that for a par, though. Played solid golf here. Still got... Oh, Thomas Olsen! Uh, Thomas Olsen, Forburn Olsen. Wow, you could not make that up. That is my tip. Wow, that is bizarre, guys. That is an omen. Get out there. Going back, Forburn Olsen. I'm sure he's 33 to 1. I put £2 each way, £4 of British pounds on him to finish each way in this event. He has an outside tip. Tell you what, if this comes down, it should come back off this slight slope here. Come on, come back, come back, come back. Come back. It's not coming back off the slope as much as I expected it to. But I'm, I was just thrown there by that leaderboard at Fjordburn Olsen is on the leaderboard. That is bizarre because he's is a name that very rarely features on the AI. And we do have a 21 foot putt for birdie. Down one, down one inch. This should turn back. This should turn back. And it's another fantastic putt from distance. We've really been reading these greens well today. And we move to 10 under par. Forburn Olsen in the clubhouse at 5 under. Shane Lowry's disappeared. We've got a four-shot lead. Zach Johnson featuring on the leaderboard as well. So, penultimate hole of this fabulous course here. La Hinch by the Cleave, the RCR specialist, playing 463 yards. I think I've slightly pulled that left as well. We've got enough fairway to work with. 
And that should leave us probably an eight to nine iron into this into this green, depending on the wind. 150 yards. Wind's going to take us round. Just going to de-loft this. Uh, just going to loft this up one touch. Because I think we're going to get a firm kick here. Green's our firm. Ah, uh, the slope. And the winds took us more to the left than I would have liked. Is it going to sit down? No, there's that firm bounce that we said on the firm greens. And that's going to be a putt for birdie from distance. 18 feet. At least it's uphill. An aggressive movement to the right. Probably the first 10 feet. Have we played it firm enough? Wow. Our putting is absolutely on fire. It really is. And we move to 11 under par. Sandberg, the Swede, coming in there as well. But I'm really gobsmacked about Fjordberg and Olsen, guys. I, I, you just couldn't make that up. I've got no control over the AI. That is just so bizarre. And I'm delighted. That is an omen. Get your money on him. Final hole is a long par four, playing 534 yards. Wow, what a challenging hole to close this fantastic course out. And we've boomed that tee shot down there, probably looking about a five iron or a five hybrid into here. I think the two iron is going to be far too long, so we're going to club down to the five hybrid. A light of wind. And the slope and green to take us round towards the pin, hopefully. Should have more than enough club here. I think I pulled that. Yeah, I have pulled it. Certainly pulled that. May get a kick to the right here, though. Favourable kick. We are going to have a chip shot from off the green. Probably about 12, 13 yards out. Seven yards, a lot closer. Just looking for a nice up and down here. To finish this round out. And save the part. Tell you what, wow, we've dunked it in once again. And you, that, our chipping today has been fantastic. I think that's three chip shots we chipped in. But there you go, guys. We convincingly win the Irish Open 2019 here at La Hinch. Um, Justin Thomas, Sandberg, Johnson, Fernandez, Kayun Hoon, Justin Rose. But most importantly, Forburn Olsen on that leaderboard, my tip. That is it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Check out my other videos on the channel. And uh, go and enjoy the Irish Open. But most importantly, if you've not yet played this, get out there on this course and give it a play. It's a five-star course for me. But until the next video, guys, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.